Let's talk about religious liberty. Uh, religious liberty in this country had a very good week. What do you say? Yeah, two very important decisions came out. In fact, the most recent one just today was the web designer, Lori Smith, out of Colorado. You'd think Colorado would get the message, you know, after the Masterpiece Cake decision <laughs> and how this one. But, you know, this decision is a, a very firm and strong uh, opinion affirming the First Amendment and the right to free speech, that you have the right to think the way you want to think and the right to say what you think without government coercion. It was a resounding win for free speech today. Yeah, Colorado, as you point out, David, a little slow on the uptake. Now, let's dismiss some of the myths, some of the some of the dishonest reviews coming from the left. This doesn't mean houses of public accommodation can reject somebody because of their race or because they're gay from using a hotel room. That's not what happened here. It doesn't mean that biracial couples are going to be denied access to web services. Doesn't mean that either. Tell the people exactly what this means. Yeah, none of that is true. That's just hysteria. And the dissent tried to foment that uh, in that opinion. But the, ma the majority opinion really shoots that down and makes it clear this is only dealing with speech. And this web designer was being forced or compelled to speak only what the government approved in the, in the area of uh, marriage. This person only believes in one man, one woman marriage and so did not want to design web uh, creative uh, artistic things that uh, she would put out there that violated her religious beliefs and violated her free speech. So that's all the court said. It doesn't do any of those other things. That's just hysteria.